afternoon, 1.30 p.m. It's time for Market Fatafat, your daily dose of uh, all the stocks that are big movers and shakers today in trade and will be in our capacity. And the markets are uh, surely posting quite a recovery from yesterday's decline, 1% higher. And we are making our way above the 10,850 mark as well. It's a 100-point gain on the Nifty. The Sensex 2 is now, in fact, moving about 36,200. But this is a show where we talk about individual stocks as well as indices. So let's get on with it by introducing first the analysts will be joining us on the show we have Prana Jain and uh, Siddharth Bhamre who will be joining in in a bit and also we do have with us today on the show Manav Chopra of India Bull Ventures as well as Rajesh Palvia of Access Security. So good afternoon to all of you and let's kick start the show with the very first talk and that's ICICI Securities. The third quarter numbers have certainly disappointed on a consolidated basis. Revenues have declined, profits as well have come under pressure and you could attribute the weakness in the numbers to the subdued um, subdued mutual fund market not to mention of course the regulatory changes that have impacted the third quarter numbers all of which has been reflected in the numbers and the stock price too today is taking a beating down more than 5.9 percent but now let's talk about Vedanta that's a sector that's being able to gain very smartly uh, what's um, your prognosis See, uh, if you're looking at uh, for a short-term perspective, you know the prices are still uh, near its important support levels, and you know it has been trading in a very tight trading band, uh, having support at 190 on the lower side to resistance at 200. Uh, for the near term, I think uh, the overall stance would be neutral, but any short-term momentum play would only come into the picture once the prices break above the 202 levels, and eventually that would give us another upside of 10%. So one should definitely uh, wait for a breakout to happen on the upside, and uh, uh, in that case the upside target would be close to 250. Okay, so um, at this point he uh, has a neutral stance but yes, if the stock goes above 202 then he may turn bullish. Rajesh, let's talk about Voltas. Today we are seeing some pressure coming in on the stock price. What is your viewpoint? Yeah, Mubina, if you look at the structure of Voltas in the month of December, stock made a high of 590. But since uh, that uh, stock is you know continuously witnessing the supply pressure, so looking at the current structure, stock is looking weak, and I feel that stock will further slide from current level and it may slide towards 510 kind of lower level on the lower side. And stock is now trading below all its important moving averages, so it is also adding the further weakness to the stock in the near term. So I think uh, stock will slide further from this level to 5. Okay, 2.2% lower for a Voltas today in trade. Prana Reliance Industries, quite an optimistic view by CLSA. Yes, uh, it's a long term target, 1500, and they reiterate their buy call on the stock. Uh, they believe that retail is going to be uh, the next big opportunity after telecom. In fact, given the pace of growth that we are seeing in organized retail, both online and offline, which the, at the industry level could rise by about 9 to 10 fold over the next uh, decade, they believe that Reliance could outpace and could be 12x its current uh, retail size. And also, when it comes to some of the uh, other expansions in petrochemicals, they believe those two will uh, play out after a year or so. So they have a buy call with a target price of 1500 and it's one of the top uh, heavyweight movers in trade today. Uh, yeah, betting big time on retail, that's uh, RIL now at 1,128 rupees. Let's talk about DCB Bank meantime. And this stock has seen quite an up move come by in the recent past. You know, in fact, uh, just in the last one month, we've seen the stock price move from 158 to 180. Do we have Siddharth with us? Uh, has he joined us on the show? Okay, uh, so th that's... Okay, I think we can go across to Siddharth on DCB Bank. Well, uh, Movina, we have seen... now. Uh, move which you're talking about from 145 to 180 and today's move if you see and if you can show that entire day chart uh, stock has shown some entire day correction but it has reached its important uh, resistance of 180 and the point which I want to highlight in DCB Bank uh, for DCB Bank is 41% rise in open interest it's a liquid name in futures and options segment and most of that built up was when stock was moving higher around 28 to 30 percent built up was there in morning when stock was up by uh, 2 percent if I'm not wrong and this is a breakout so these are mainly long positions and as you mentioned in the beginning that uh, there has been a significant run up and these positions should be given more texture of a green color in the sense it's more of long positions which are getting formed. Okay, so Sahaj is observing that there is formation of long positions uh, in DCB Bank in the futures market. Rajesh, let's talk about Magma Fincorp. It's a stock we don't talk about very often, but today it's seen quite an uptick. Uh, 
here if you look at the structure since last 12 week stock is consolidating very narrow range 105 to 120 is the range for the stock since last 12 week and looking at the structure that stock is having you know uh, uh, very steep resistance around 120 level so my advice would be if stocks move further higher from this level one should book profits around 120 or 115 uh, zone if it's come to that level all right, so that's Magma Fin up 3.7% higher. Let's talk about Wipro meantime and do remember IT is uh, today one of the top buzzers in terms of sectoral gainers and it's Wipro that's really leading the move. Um, it's in fact only going higher in trade and now it's just at about 328 rupees um, along with the third quarter numbers that this company is also set to announce on the 18th of January. They're also going to be considering a bonus issue. Do remember just about uh, on Friday is when Infosys announced their buyback and now Wipro is going to be announcing their bonus. And the last time they did so was I think back in June 2017 when they had announced a bonus of 1 is to 1. This is going to be another bonus coming in, bonus issue rather, that may come in. Uh, the second one in the last two years approximately. Uh, it had also in fact announced a buyback last year of about uh, 34 odd crore shares and 11,000 crore rupee buyback. So um, this is another uh, announcement being made by the company with respect to its shares. Alright, uh, Pranay, let's talk about Z Entertainment ahead of the numbers. The stock's doing really well. Well, yes, and the expectation too is that uh, profit growth could be close to about 25%. Uh, in fact, they also see revenue growing up a good uh, 16% this time. It will be led by both ad revenue as well as uh, domestic subscription. Uh, so, while uh, the outlook is also uh, benign for them, given that margins are expected to improve by 190 basis point uh, to 34.2 percent. Important to watch would be the updates on monetization of uh, the promoter stick. Okay, uh, that is the entertainment for you. Siddharth, why are you flagging off CAT? Well, short positions are getting built up over there and uh, Obina, auto ancillary names are under pressure. Market's doing so well in today's trading session but if you look at some of the auto ancillary names, they are under pressure. C8 has been, you know, uh, uh, doing negatively. Today also it's down by 1.7%. There is substantial addition of open interest which is short. Uh, around 12, 20, 12, 30, there is support zone. Watch out for that support zone. If that goes, then uh, probably stock is open for further downside. 1.6% lower for a SEAT. Rajesh, Karnataka Bank, uh, you are uh, having a slightly bullish stance here. Why is that? Yeah, if you look at the short term structure of Karnataka Bank, stock has, uh, you know, uh, gained uh, almost, you know, around 50 to 20 percent in the last couple of uh, days. And now stock is placing above all its important uh, moving average. Its stock is very well holding its 200 day moving average. And looking at the structure, that uh, 120 is the important level to watch for in the near term. Once the stock manages to cross this 120 level, I feel that stock will continue its upward momentum towards 130, 135 level. So one should hold and even uh, on the breakout of 120, one can add further more position for 135 target in the near term to short term. All right, that's Karnataka Bank for you, a strategy being recommended by Rajesh. Let's talk about HPCL then and Manav, you know, interestingly, we just this morning had a brokerage view, very bullish stance on HPCL. What's your uh, verdict here? See, as the short term perspective, when the stock has given a breakout from the intraday charts and you know after a good 7 to 8 days of decline, the prices are also bouncing from its oversold levels. We are also witnessing uh, you know the prices closing above its 100 EMA which is also positive looking at the volume. So I sense in the near term we could see a short term rally towards 250 and eventually even 265 levels. For any short term trading opportunity, I think one can maintain a buy on dips approach can keep a stop us at 225. Okay, HPCL today higher by 2.5%. Another stock that's really rallying is Jet Airways. In fact, the third straight day of gains witnessed in this airline major. Um, do remember, tomorrow is a crucial day for the company. There's going to be that consortium led by SBI, consortium of lenders of the company led by SBI, that's going to be meeting with uh, the board of directors of Jet. Uh, do remember that uh, they are going to be finalizing a resolution plan in all likelihood tomorrow after, of course, uh, the airline defaulted on principal as well as interest repayments due in December. December 2018 there has been a series of downgrades as well by rating agencies on um, some of its uh, loan facilities um, but yeah uh, tomorrow is going to be what uh, tomorrow is going to be an important day for jet airways ahead of that we've seen the stock price rally 
uh, we are above 300 rupees for jet and it's above the 1500 day moving average. Prane, let's talk about Radico Khaitan. MK continuing to maintain a buy here. Well, yes, uh, the strong Q3 results uh, can be a catalyst for the stock according to them. Uh, they believe that the company is poised to deliver 31% compounded growth on the earnings front and therefore they have a target price of 547 which is an upside of more than 30% from the current levels. Okay, JSW Steel meantime and Manav, you know, call it the curse of entering the NFC but uh, ever since then we have seen quite a downtick come by on the counter. Yes, in fact, the stock has been an underperformer recently and, you know, uh, it has been witnessing a stiff resistance around the levels of 295-300. Any short-term bounce towards these levels have also witnessed some selling pressure. So, as if now, even though the oscillators are in deep oversold zone, I, I don't recommend that one should initiate long positions. The overall structure is still weak, but any bullish breakout would only happen once the stock closes above 300. So, at the moment, one should uh, maintain a neutral stance and can avoid this stock. Okay, so only if it moves about 300 is, 300 is when Manav turns bullish on the counter. So that's stock number 15, Idea Cellular. Well, there's not uh, much of price action uh, moving up. But then why we are talking? Because of built up in uh, future segment. Stock has been consolidating in a very narrow range. And now all of a sudden you are seeing that volumes in future are substantially high. We are seeing substantial rise in open interest, which means there is some sort of accumulation which is going on in idea. So watch out for this name. If it moves above this 37, 37.5 mark, which has been you know kind of resistance, you might see a, a, a decent upside from current levels. Okay, uh, on that note, we'll just take a very short break, but come right back. We'll continue with the countdown when we return. You're watching Market for Tafford on ET now. Continuing with the countdown then of the top movers and shakers. Stock number 16, Rajesh Kaveri Seeds. And you know, uh, the last two weeks, or rather just the last one week, we've seen the stock move up significantly from just level of 5.13 now at 5.18. So what's your call here? Yeah, in the last week we have seen very good rally in the Kaveri seed and in this process stock now managed to give breakout of its down sloping trend line on the daily chart. So looking at the pattern breakout, I feel that stock will continue its upward momentum towards 600, 615 level. So even at the current level also one can buy the stock with stop loss of 565 for upside target of 600. Uh, of course, the view on Kaveri seeds, Rajesh has an optimistic stance. JNK Bank in, and it's the second straight day of steady gains witnessed over here that makes it 12% just in the last two trading sessions. Now the management of course after delivering a that stellar Q3 set of numbers has also in their conference call said that they will maintain the growth strategy in the bank and more importantly the cleanup is almost done on the corporate stress too. Remember that they had seen some pressure on the profitability on account of the provision figure which was inflated due to LNFS. However, with this they say that the cleanup is almost done in the corporate loan book. So stressed assets over there could see some reduction going forward in the fourth quarter number. So JNK Bank continues to rally. It was now 40 rupees. It's just stepped off a tad bit from that level. Let's talk about utility companies and power grid. Manav is today, um, unlike the rest of the markets, very sluggish in trade. Yes, in fact, uh, since last 10 trading sessions, uh, this stock has been trading in a very tight uh, trading band, having uh, support around the levels of 190 and resistance at 200. So until unless we don't see a breakout from this range, we, uh, there is unlikely to see any trending action. But looking at the current structure, the bias definitely remains for an upside breakout. So for any bullish momentum play, I think a break above uh, 200 uh, can, uh, is, is something that we are looking at and once if it closes above that it's only the uh, one one can look to initiate fresh long positions so at the current levels one can still uh, wait and watch and once if it breaks out can add, add uh, on the upside okay uh, power grid down 0.4 percent as we speak let's talk about adani power and uh, pranay what's the news here that's keeping the stock active well, it's seeking 10,000 crore uh, loan uh, for uh, you know the REC and PFC plant uh, in Goda, and uh, reports indicate that it is also looking to export power uh, to Bangladesh. 
from its uh, nearby facility. Uh, so therefore, uh, it's up on this news by about 3%. And just as we speak, there's just been a bit of a spike witnessed in the stock price and now it's perched near the day's high at 51 rupees. So that, let's talk about Infosys. Uh, the gains over here continue. In fact, the entire technology pack uh, today is uh, among the top Nifty gainers. Well, yes, and uh, especially Infosys uh, because uh, most of the participants during Mobina are discussing the buyback issue more than the company's performance, but the management commentary was quite encouraging and the revenue, uh, the upward guidance uh, or upward revision of the guidance has uh, really excited market. Yesterday, it was short covering because there was a gap of opening and today we are seeing formation of long position, 20% rise in open interest in Infosys futures and mind you, such kind of built up we generally witness before results now this is happening after results it is not just because of buyback but most of the participants are quite optimistic and it has breached its 715 resistance so a lot of people are uh, flocking into this trade of going long in infosys okay so very interesting observations uh, and this is being seen especially after the results have been announced unlike before three percent higher for infosys today more than 700 rupees let's talk about jb chemicals and interestingly we have had uh, a coverage note as well that has come in today uh, Amanav that's one reason why we are seeing an uptick combined in the stock price so what would your stance be here? So definitely you know after a good short term consolidation there has been a fresh breakout today and in fact it has been accompanied by very good volumes I sense in the near term perspective if the important support levels are held we could see an upside of at least 10% from the current zone which could give us a target of 350 so definitely it's a buy on dip support even at the current level. Okay and by the way it's uh, ICICI Securities that has initiated coverage on JB Chemicals with the buy they are placing their target as well at 301 rupees as we believe that this one is an attractive value place it also believes that they are well placed to outperform industry, industry in the India business. Okay, India Post Ventures, meantime, it's a Q3 result reaction being witnessed here. It's a robust show. Q3 revenues have doubled at 558 crore rupees. The profitability has more than doubled at 121 crore rupees. Additionally, the company has also announced that they are going to be selling their stock broking undertaking to its wholly owned subsidiary. Uh, the stock price was, in fact, one of the top Nifty 500 gainers. However, it's lost out quite a, little, quite a lot of steam and now it's just about hovering near the day's low, still higher at trading at 390 rupees. Okay, can't take our eyes off these fertilizer names. Uh, there was news with respect to the government even perhaps uh, widening its budget for the fertilizer sector and that is something that's constantly caused these fertilizer names to buzz not just today but for the last couple of days. One, one such stock is GSFC. Rajesh, what's your stance here? Yeah, uh, GSFC is hovering near to its 200 day simple moving average and looking at the pattern, stock is you know forming cup and handle kind of formation on the daily chart. So uh, if the stocks manages to give the breakout above 115 level, so then I feel that uh, this breakout will give the target of 125 on the higher side. So one can hold the position with uh, stop loss of 107. On the breakout of 115, I feel that stock should really towards 128 on the higher side. Okay, so uh, uh, Rajesh does have an optimistic view, but just keep note of those levels. He's advising keep a stop loss at 107 rupees. Result reaction in Tata Metallics, I think it's more or less of a mixed bag, Pranav. Yes, the revenue is up about 11-12%, but the profits are down about 2%. So like you said, it's a mixed bag. Also on the margins front, we are seeing a decline of about 130 base, 110 basis points to about 13.7%. And I think uh, the word on many metal results is that numbers are going to be on the sub side. And yes, for Tara Metallics too, you know, while um, uh, the big guy in pipes business has disappointed, Ductile Iron still has comparatively been able to hold on. Net net, the stock is losing. Uh, Siddharth, let's get in your opinion on BEML. Well, a lot of mid cap stocks are buzzing, Mubina, and even when market was correcting, mid cap was uh, outperforming. Now, BEML is one such stock, it showed a decent rally from uh, 700 levels to 900. Then, since last three weeks or so, it is consolidating in a very narrow range. Today's stock is up by 2.5% trading almost near to its highest point of the day, adding a lot of long positions. Watch out for that resistance of 9.25 and 9.30 zone. If it moves above that, then you might see a substantial upside because there are more of long positions and it's been quite some time that stock is consolidating in a very narrow range. Okay, uh, that of course is BML for you, currently trading higher by 2.3%. Uh, the other stock that we are flagging off is uh, Glenmark Pharma. Rajesh, what is your strategy here?
Yeah, if you look at the short term structure of Glenmark Pharma, it's in process of you know forming a rounding bottom formation on the you know weekly chart. So looking at the structure, I feel that uh, uh, stock is you know uh, poised for you know breakout on the higher side. So one can uh, buy at the current level also. One can keep stop loss of 647. I feel that on the breakout of 675, stock should really towards 690 or 700 uh, plus kind of level in the near term to short term. So uh, stance is positive on the Glenmark. One can buy stock at the current level. Okay, another stock that's buzzing is Muthoot Finance. The company yesterday announced that its uh, subsidiary, Muthoot Microfinance, has ended 1,366 crore rupees in terms of securitisation deals in the fiscal 2019. So that's something that's keeping this stock apparent active in trade today. Manav Realty, as a sector, is gaining very smartly. Obra Realty, what's the view? See, at the current levels, you know the prices have witnessed a strong uh, base formation, and you know it has been consolidating above its key moving averages. Also, on the intraday basis, you know the prices have managed to close above the uh, 455 decisive level. So, I sense in the near term we could see a weekly breakout, which could come into the play, and eventually with the oscillators coming into the buy zone, we could see another good upside leg coming into the stock since it has been in a good uptrend. We recommend to buy into this, uh, expect an upside target of 510, and one can maintain a stop loss. At 440 on the downside. Right, uh, bullish on the stock price. Prana United Spirits. What's the news here? Well, it's a small deal. They've sold off uh, oh. their uh, Four Seasons wines for about 32 crore rupees. Uh, so, not really stock moving, but that's the news in the counter today. Okay, and finally, stock number 30, Siddharth. Uh, Madhus and Sumi continues to see downward pressure. Well, yeah, and uh, we are seeing a fresh formation of short positions over here. Stock is correcting. It's in a downward trend. Immediate resistance is around 163. It's near to that. So uh, most of the participants uh, in auto ancillary names like C8 and Mother Sensumi are shorting. At uh, 30 stocks done. So thanks to all of you for joining in. Rajesh and Manav to you as well for giving our viewers a sense of your technical recommendations. Coming up next is closing trades.